I just double back, yeah, and then I move along. I might hit a left, then I keep it going. I'ma catch my breath, keep it going till the morning. Put in the work. Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited. We are going to be glowing up in this video today and I want to give a huge shout out to my friends over at Dossier because they are the sponsors of today's video. You guys know I absolutely love Dossier. I love everything that they stand for. Luxury at an affordable price. I had to come through with some new... <laughs> fall fragrances and when I tell you I'm obsessed you guys like I keep dust here in my car I keep it in my purse with me on the go like I have it everywhere in my life because it's that affordable you can get bottles of fragrances from $29 all the way up to $49 so why not just try a little bit of everything and the really cool part is you can do bulk deals if you get three or more bottles and you save like 25% so definitely check out the links in the description box below so you guys can cop some dust here and I'm going to give you guys some reviews on my scents that I had picked out this month. So this one is the Floriental Brown Sugar. Anything with brown sugar, y'all, I'm going to love. I'm going to absolutely love. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super minimal. It gives you the notes straight away on the bottle. And then a magnetic top. This is supposed to be a replica of the YSL fragrance the Mon Perry. And then this one has top notes of raspberry, pear, bergamot, jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar. It's the brown sugar that sold me on the website. As well as amber, vanilla, and patchouli. So this just sounds very like warm. I love warmer scents in the fall and winter and just at nighttime in general. So I'm really interested to see. Oh my gosh, it's a little sweet very warm oh my god and cozy like if fall had a scent it would be this and because i'm obsessed i had to go and get another one <laughs> don't judge me this one is the floriental vanilla i love anything vanilla because I don't know it's just very cozy and very warm so this one is supposed to be a replica of the ysl black opium and this one has top notes of mandarin pear pink pepper oh it's gonna be a little spicy it also has licorice jasmine orange blossom cedarwood patchouli vanilla and coffee oh my why does this sound like fall in a bottle honestly it's the cedarwood i love cedarwood it gives me just like that natural like woody kind of masculine scent so oh no let's see what this smells like I'm just gonna smell like both today. Oh my gosh, wait. I'm getting the vanilla. Oh my God, it smells like something. It smells like an ice cream shop on the beach at nighttime, followed up with a bonfire. <laughs> Cause I don't know, it's the cedar wood, but the vanilla is sweet, but like, oh, I don't, oh my God. I love this one this this is mm, those are my fragrances for fall and just glowing up for fall I think it starts with feeling good and smelling good I know I like to change my fragrances as we change through the seasons so it's always nice to stock up on some new scents and just trying something new that you've never tried before and I feel like dossier is such a great place to do that because it is so affordable and if you don't like something it doesn't work or mesh well with your body chemistry they do returns uh, within 30 days no questions asked so you can't really beat that you guys <laughs> bro i am so excited we are glowing up it's about to be a week of a glow up you guys i'm about to go get laser hair removal called yesterday to see if I could get an appointment because ain't nothing cute about shaving the underarms okay it was the best thing I ever invested in in my entire life <laughs> is getting laser hair removal it's a little toasty I'm obsessing over this like brown and black color combination by the way I'll link this hoodie down below it's like fleece lined getting prepared for this fall here on the east coast it was like 55 this morning when i took the pups out and i was like wow i really need to go and get like an ice scraper 
we out here with all these climates now and everything so i'm gonna go to lorton it's about 30 minutes or so i don't think it's a rush hour at the moment so i'm gonna literally be there for 10 minutes get zapped and then that'll be it for my first treatment that we're gonna do i made myself a pumpkin spice latte with the coffee meat oat milk pumpkin spice creamer and then i added some stock um, I think that's the brand the unsweetened cold brew and then I topped it off with Trader Joe's pumpkin pie spice and it's the pumpkin pie spice that makes this taste like the filling of pumpkin pie like it's top tier you guys top tier and it's my second coffee today I already went to the gym this morning went to the water did my meditation and I wanted to sweat before my appointment because you're not supposed to work out for 24 hours after you get lasered because you don't want it to get infected and all that stuff. And I do have a whole video with like my experience and um, why I love laser hair removal, specifically under the arms and also Brazilian too. I haven't been getting Brazilian because I just don't really grow hair. I've had it so much that my hair is very like fine. But if you're someone that has like specifically dark hair color like brown black all that stuff and you can see the follicles still when you shave that's what I didn't like and I like laser because it kills the follicle from the root and it does take at least maybe like a week to two weeks for the whole follicle to fall out from the root so you'll see them coming out a little bit and it does smell like burnt hair when you go and get them zapped if you've never been before but it is the best way that I've personally found to remove hair um, I did the waxing down there was never a fan of wax it hurts so bad I don't think it's good for sensitive skin because it pulls and tugs on your skin and it can leave it feeling very red and sensitive and bleeding sometimes but also with wax what really I didn't like is you have to grow your hair out like why am I gonna walk out in these streets looking crazy with a lot of long hair like I'm not doing that and like shaving just doesn't get it from the root so laser honestly best investment um, I ever made and I don't even know, I'd have to look on my channel to figure out when I actually started to get laser hair removal. But I'm gonna get this address to this place. And I figured I would just do like a week of glowing up because girl, I feel crusty. These nails, these nails right here, they need to be glowed up at some point in this video. I'm just kind of waiting because you see this my nails are kind of fragile they're splitting off and also just working out without claws is such a game changer i feel like an even more beast in the gym so i'm kind of just living or leaving them to kind of breathe until they kind of grow a little bit like this one split the other day like i need it to be a little bit longer so that the gel x can kind of stick and not stick to my skin so maybe at the end of this video that'll be like the last thing that i do because baby i don't feel sexy unless i have my claws on um and then gel manicure just wouldn't look good because they're not even and again they just keep splitting uh but i'm gonna do a lot of fun stuff take you guys to some appointments get some treatments done um we're gonna feel like a brand new girl by the time that this video comes to an end we're about to be feeling like a brand new girl out in these streets by the end of this video so it's gonna get ugly yeah it's gonna get really ugly before it gets cute so like this skin we need to get that under control as well that's where it's gonna look a little under construction okay anyway i will see you guys post treatment i don't feel comfortable whipping out the vlog i don't know I'm not in la anymore so i feel like it's weird being like do you mind if i record my under <laughs> imagine how awkward that sounds also they're not sponsoring me so i ain't got no obligation just know i mean look it doesn't look like there's anything there because there i don't really grow hair but you know it's the touch-ups but i don't have the shadow and that's funny because i used to have that and i used to be so insecure about my underarms like being so dark and having the shadow like girl laser changed my life i got my reasons i know you're with me jesus i know you're with me jesus 
I know I'm never alone. Come be a witness, Jesus. I need you with me, Jesus. I need you with me, Jesus. I know I'm never alone. Come be a witness, Jesus. Try to get it right, might get a couple wrong. I just double back, and then I move along. I might hit a left, then I keep it going. Why did that hurt so much more? That thing literally felt like a taser. <laughs> a straight up taser. And it sounds like one too. Zzz, zzz, that's what it sounds like. But it's okay. I had drink in my ear. It's fine. Literally, it's 2.39. My appointment was 2.35. So you can see how quick it is. Also why I love it. Because I just don't like sitting around for a long time. Trying to get stuff done. Oh, my arm so sense. It hurts, but it's worth it. If you've never had laser, I, I do recommend it. I can only recommend it in the areas I've tried though, which is Brazilian and underarms. But you can literally laser your face. You could do your legs. I wouldn't do my legs just because, girl, the pain of your whole limbs. I have long limbs. That would just be doing the most. Um, and I don't really mind shaving my legs. Like, not a big deal to me okay okay this just spilled everywhere it's okay I'm gonna go home because again rush hour go home and shower and then I'm not doing any more glam today so I will catch you guys when it's time for our next treatment slash appointment which I need to make I need to call and see if they have oh my arms availability <laughs> time of the background noise you guys they're doing like literally construction in my driveway so that's how I woke up this morning but to continue with the glow up and like I guess like my beauty maintenance I love a good tan I would tan my tan from summer lasted I don't know a month and it's just gone so I want to even out my skin tone I don't know if you guys watched a few vlogs actually maybe Two weeks ago I had tried this supplement and it gave me hives all over my body so I kind of still have like marks of like pigment left so I mean it doesn't feel like anything honestly it looks like it's turning into eczema love that for me um, and it's crazy because I actually suffer from eczema like as a kid I would have to take like oatmeal baths and be that bad so I'm interested to see what this tan is gonna do because it's like literally like patches of like dry skin but I think that's just telling me that it's going away because girl it was like a real bad um and very like red in pigmentation they're not itchy or anything but I just I don't know I want to even out my skin tone and see if it will conceal some of that like discoloration that I have going on if you guys can kind of tell so we shall see what this thing is gonna do i already have a tanning routine on my youtube and i'll link below like my favorite products i love doing things like diys at home first of all it's convenient it's quicker you don't have to go anywhere wait around schedule appointments you know so it's just kind of like easier in that aspect but also you can kind of control more of like your results and everything so this has to sit for eight hours and i do prefer to do it very early in the morning um i'm gonna be out of my house because there's no way like the house is shaking there's no way i could be here all freaking day listening to that and then trying to be productive and get work done so i'm gonna put this on and then um it's super important to wear loose like baggy clothes so i'm probably gonna wear like a sweat set actually is it supposed to rain today oh it's not that's good. So I can't really show you guys me applying this on camera because that's a little weird. Oh, it's supposed to rain this evening. I don't know. I'm gonna also see if I can schedule some appointments because might as well while I have this on my body, yada yada. So if you guys wanna know how I apply this product, check out my tanning routine. This is the extra dark. I love this packaging. I don't find that it makes you smell once you rinse this off. 
so i like to leave it longer than the eight hours probably be home late anyway but watch me get tan and hopefully even out this allergic reaction that i had let me know if you guys have ever had like a, a food allergy and it turned into hives like first of all did it leave scars because all the research so annoying all the research i read said that they don't but they can take like six weeks to go away but if you have them for like a few months then you need to go see somebody because it's a problem and i'm like oh finally they're going away but like bro am i gonna be left with marks i mean my eczema has always healed and left but it's taking too long for me but anyway i'll see you guys when i'm a little bit more glowy <laughs> And I'll let you guys know how it kind of reacted with my current situation. Because I feel really ugly right now. I'm not going to lie because of this reaction I have. It's literally, it's all over my chest. I think it's on my back. I've been so self-conscious in the gym. So I've been bundled up in hoodies. Okay, like I didn't even want to like just wear a sports bra because. Ugh. intentions god i could really use some peace and some understanding i know i got some extra time help me take advantage okay so i put the tan as you can tell everywhere it's a bad idea because now it's clinging to those areas and i thought it was fading away and now it just looks worse um like i don't know if you can tell like my arm for example like you can see I have some here like it just brought them out more <sighs> I look like a giraffe okay so I don't know if I should just leave this on and then rinse it off later it's not like it irritates my body or anything or itches so I'm like should I just rinse this off now in the shower <laughs> I don't know but I look so good tan but oh my god I can't show you the rest but please if anyone has ever had an allergic reaction orally and it's come out through your skin please let me know your experience how long did it take to go away what did you take because i've been taking benadryl i've been i haven't been itchy so i haven't really been putting anything other than cocoa butter and bio oil all over my body but i'm so tired of being drowsy off of benadryl so i don't know i've been taking vitamin e vitamin a for my skin vitamin c vitamin d drinking a lot of water wearing loose clothing literally doing everything so i don't know i'm also just not the type i didn't grow up going to the doctor every two seconds when something would happen you know like you just deal with it when you deal with it but i'm gonna have to go to a dermatologist if this does not go away i'm gonna give it another well i'm gonna give it the six weeks that's what the internet said. So, I'm gonna take my butt in the shower now and rinse this off because I don't want the tan to develop and get darker <laughs> on those spots. <laughs> this was kind of a fail, but that's okay. It's a process. <laughs> just wasted my time and my money. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so I just took my shower and it looks like the tan didn't stick to like those problem spots. Um, honestly, I think this really came in clutch. So I use a loofah in the shower because I really wanted to get off all that residue. Um, and then I went over it with a body scrub. This one's so good. Sorry, it's dripping. It's the Soap and Glory Scrub em and Leave em. This is my favorite scent. Missed you madly. I don't really exfoliate often and I forgot, honestly, I had this. So I just decided to use it up and do a full body exfoliation. And I think that actually helped get some of that like flaky skin off. Um, so hopefully it'll heal a lot better. I'm gonna go douse my body in cocoa butter and bio oil and make sure my skin stays hydrated. I feel like I should try and get like some vitamin E oil. I'm pretty sure Trader Joe's has one. So I'm gonna see if I can run by there and like really put that 
all over my skin because <laughs> this is just this allergic reaction is not cute so oh here's some aloe you think that will work moisturizing for sunburned dry irritated skin 100% pure aloe vera gel this is working for that stuff i don't know y'all i'm not gonna google today um but i'm just happy the pigment did not take i mean i only had the thing on for 10 minutes like this is a big fail i should know better girl you're dry your skin was dry and patchy like why, why did you think this would cover that lesson learned um my skin though is looking pretty nice but i want to book a chemical peel they don't open until 9 30 so i have 35 minutes to call and see if i can get in today because i'm really trying to continue with my skin journey to fade this pigmentation and it's actually looking really good i just got a peel three weeks ago so stacking them back to back you get better and deeper results and i would love to do an intense like the most intense vi peel i think it's like precision plus i've been doing the original twice now so i want to see if i get better results from that and if i will get more peeling uh because it's a little bit stronger with the acids and the blend and stuff so i'm gonna see at 9 30 if i could get in for that but if not i don't know guys i'm just not feeling cute <sighs> And I know yesterday I was preaching about, sir, I know yesterday when I went lasered, got lasered, I was preaching about, do more things that make you feel good. Well, usually tan does that for me. It makes me feel glowy and like, I just went on vacation, you know, but like, it just made me feel ugly. And <laughs> I don't know, I'm just frustrated right now. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I've literally been on Benadryl for the past few weeks, like four times a day, like, I'm surprised I got 25 videos out during that time because I just wasn't mentally there. But I don't know. Pray for me. I, I, mm, I need to go put lotion on. My skin get ashy. I'll see you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Like my confidence right now. Two. It is a two, and I don't know. Mm. usually when it, oh my God. it's just this allergy i'm dealing with and it's literally making me just feel all types of ways i don't know you guys but i'm in my car i'm gonna go to trader joe's and see if i can grab a vitamin e oil i think they have a blend with um sorry jehova jehova mixed with it i can't remember if it was for the face or for the body but I need to get something. I don't know. I'm at my dad's, by the way. I dropped Lee right off um, Dougie Day Camp at my dad's so he can run around outside. I always like to do that. He likes to have outdoor time. What is it? Oh my god, it's something on the viewfinder. I thought there was something on my steering wheel. Um, I just finished filming today's sponsor, so excited about that. Um, I'm hoping I can get a facial appointment. I called and made a nail appointment for tomorrow because my girl doesn't work today. So tomorrow we're going to get our nails done. Um, so I'm hoping that today I can get um, my chemical peel because that takes five days of healing. So, you know, I can get it done now and then be looking somewhat decent in a week. But I'm sure that's also going to mess with my self-esteem because honestly, you guys have seen some of my past chemical peel videos. It's just not cute like it's so worth it oh my god yeah it's so worth it but the downtime staying inside not being exposed to the sun like your skin is very sensitive it gets very dark and the pigmentation gets even more pigmented until it peels off so that aspect it's not for everyone because obviously we all have different lifestyles some people can't they don't have the luxury of taking the time off they have to go out to work but i mean with the masks it definitely helps conceal if you need to go somewhere but i don't know sometimes it messes with my mind i'm like is this really worth it like i don't know but i'm hoping this one round three will be you know getting me closer to where i want to be i know i'm doing this with purpose to have better clearer skin 
and target those issues that aren't so great. So I'll say about that. Hopefully after I leave Trader Joe's, I'm gonna go get some gas right now and take you guys throughout the rest of today. Just wanna let you know, I'm just not feeling, I don't know, I'm not feeling it today. And I know I can definitely show that on my face. Like I'm definitely that type of girl that you will know how I feel if you just look at me. I cannot hide, I cannot be fake. Like You're gonna know if I'm happy, you're gonna know if I'm like not vibing. And today is very much so that. Uh, I like to rap, but I sing a lot. I let the 808s bang in my drums knock. Try to tell me that I can't, then I know I can. Reach into my bag, hit him with the slow jam. I'm on the mic for the homies. I'ma keep it low key. Back since 96, it was an OG. Uh, made a little money, people acting like they know me. People acting like they know me. I've never been in Trader Joe's that quick. Two minutes. I came, I saw, I conquered. Ooh, I only spent $15. I have never in my life went to Traders and only spent $15. When I saw that they had the maple popcorn, it lifted my two to five, okay. I just filmed my Trader Joe's fall haul shop with me and a lot of that stuff has dairy so I can't even try it. Um, but this has coconut as an allergy listed, which honestly, <laughs> I'm so excited. I got two bags, so we'll be enjoying that. And then I went in for like the beauty stuff. I use this cleanser. I don't use it on my face. I use this to clean all of my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders and like my sponges and stuff. And it's just their face wash with tea tree oil i find it's um gentle enough for the fibers of my brushes and the tea tree kills the bacteria that's on them and really removes concealer and foundation so i got that and then this is the vitamin e oil blend um i don't know if this is good or if i should have just gotten regular vitamin e oil because the first ingredient is soybean oil I don't know is that like the carrier for it i'm not sure but the second ingredient is vitamin e and then there's also coconut oil so they said this is for soothe onto your face oh i would not put this on my face um hands legs feet as needed may also be poured into a bath as desired for a soft and silky feel excellent moisturizer for all skin types so i'm gonna put this on my body yada yada to hopefully help moisturize with the dry patches and um, lighten the pigment. My car is so dirty. I have about 13 minutes until the skincare place opens. So, I don't know, should I go to Starbucks? I've already had a coffee this morning, but I don't wanna sit here at Trader Joe's. My stomach is screaming at me. I'm kind of hungry. I didn't eat today. I need to eat something. But yeah, you guys. It's my Trader Joe's pickup. I'm actually really excited about that. Putting some dust here. Smell good. I literally will just spray this all day long. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. What can I do over here? Is there a Starbucks over here? Oh, you know what? There might be one. Yep, inside this giant. Maybe I'll go. I told myself I wasn't going to be getting Starbucks. Um, actually, I haven't been getting it for a while because all the sugar. Oh, my God. Like, 60 grams in one apple crisp macchi. It's... Uh-uh, baby. That's why my skin was breaking out, and it's finally clearing up, so... If I get a coffee, it's probably gonna be um, unsweetened, which is not fall vibes. Well, but it also looks like it's about to storm. Y'all see that? We got the gloomy, cloudy skies today. <sighs> so this is what I would get, the iced apple crisp macchiato. Um, a venti, yeah, because it'd be rough like that. 
Y'all, five pumps. What is it? Five pumps of this syrup. Woo, woo, woo. We go down to the nutrition. Y'all see this? 61 grams, y'all. 61 grams of sugar. Do you know that you're only supposed to have about 50 grams of sugar a day? Girl, and then on top of this, I would get like a pumpkin bread, and that's another 40 grams. Oh my God, that's 100 grams of sugar in one little itty bitty snack. Are you kidding me? I just found this out. I just found this out. I just started to look at my sugar intake, uh, maybe like two weeks ago because I'm like, why am I breaking out so much? And obviously we know that sugar is linked to acne prone skin. And I was having Starbucks literally like every day. And then I was going home and maybe making my own coffee with more creamer. And I was like, how much sugar should you have a day on Google? That thing said 50 grit. I said, oh no, we cannot be doing this. Like my skin is telling me no, cut it. So I've been tweaking everything. I've been actually paying attention to my fitness pal because I log all of my food. And if I didn't, like if it was a day I didn't go to Starbucks, my sugar was around like the 50s, 50s, 60 range. If I put honey or something on my food, it would go up a little bit, obviously. But for me personally, I'm not worried about having natural sugar, like going over the 50 grams of natural sugar coming from like bananas, blueberries, honey, maple syrup. That is so different in my mind to this five pumps of apple crisp, whatever the heck. You know what I'm saying? Like you have natural sugars and then you have the artificial corn syrups. And that's where I feel like the 50 grams needs to be your limit. So if I was doing that at Starbucks, getting like 100 grams of um, unnatural sugar, now wonder my acne was going crazy so it's nice that i track that but it's funny because it's not funny but before then like before the two weeks ago like i only paid attention to my calories that i was tracking and then like my macros right like the protein how much carbs how much fat was i getting never did i ever scroll down and look at my daily intake of sugar so i think the awareness is great it definitely makes me a lot more mindful of the foods that i'm reaching for and for example I made a coffee this morning and I'm using currently the Coffee Mate's oat milk pumpkin spice. That only has, I tracked it this morning. Let me, let, me, let me get the facts, let me get the receipts. That only had 20 grams of sugar in my coffee compared to 61 gram. Mm, I'm embarrassed. And that was me using four servings in one like a venti cup. So y'all do the math you guys so anyway moving forward long story short part of the glow up is working on my diet okay and getting rid of a lot I'm not gonna say all of it but it would be nice to have like a lower consistent daily intake of processed sugar throughout my day and that's what's great about making food at home and cooking at home is really being able to control the amount of sugar that you're taking in and I actually want to look at this popcorn and see because this is kind of sweet it's a kettle corn like pay more attention to the labels and like not just look at the macros but also look at the sugar so this has 14 grams um a key and that's for one serving so if i'm having this i'm having starbucks coffee i'm having a starbucks dessert mm -mm. like we need to pick and choose you know what i'm saying it's just it, mindfulness oh I've been talking so much the place opens in six minutes so I guess I'm gonna sit here <laughs> until I can call but yeah I just wanted to mention that too because that definitely is a part of the glow up internally and when you're eating foods that kind of feed into like a reaction like acne then it's time to make a switch obviously not everyone reacts the same but if you it's raining if you have acne prone skin um, diet comes into play, products you're using on your face, your hygiene, are you changing your pillowcases often, what's the environment outside like, like today they're doing so much construction and all the dust and the dirt, the debris, the pollution, like that can affect your skin. The weather, is it hot, is it dry outside where you live, is it a desert, is it very humid? Like those things can really play a role. Are you wearing a dirty mask all the time and not replacing them daily? Like that has a lot of bacteria and like, just a lot of little things can affect acne prone skin. It's not as simple as, oh, you're wearing makeup. 
like maybe that can play a role but there is so many other aspects that can go and trigger acne and breakouts and having like a breeding ground for bacteria and honestly the masks don't help my situation um, because you're breathing your hot breath <laughs> you're breathing your breath into a mask you know and it's just like going in like your skin is the biggest organ on your body so your skin is really absorbing all of that back into it and that's why I'm like my problem area literally is the mask so I don't know that's why I need to go and just target it kill off everything and Yes, work on the outside, but also really focus in what I'm eating diet wise and be a lot more aware of what types of foods I'm choosing to eat, etc. etc. So that's a little update on my skin journey and where I was last month compared to where I'm at now. Um, a couple weeks post peel where you can kind of just see like my skin is pretty glowy. And the pigmentation has lightened so that's why I'm like ooh, if I go for another round and do a stronger version of what I've been doing since my skin reacts really well to it imagine what the results will be uh, 199 199 okay great see you again thank you bye-bye phone call completed girl I gotta get there in 30 minutes because I did not want to wait around till 12 Oh my god <laughs> what is the address all right guys i'm gonna push the whip and i'll see you guys post Pion. and it's raining perfect day to be cozy in the house so yeah this is my before which is nothing i think i have a picture actually on my phone that i took the day of my last peel let me show y'all so you can see the progress of this glow up oh my god it really did wonders this was my day before my last peel three weeks ago this is me today I just realized I look homeless today <laughs> not my face smelling like gasoline That was a little, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just a little more tingly, got some frosting. Why did the lady at the desk, she's like, wow, your face looks. Ma'am, ma'am. Okay guys, so I didn't pay with the Groupon. <laughs> So I didn't get any problems today. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really, mm, let me stop. I feel, mm, <laughs> I don't love the estheticians, but I like the service. You can't mess up a VIP peel because it literally, it comes in a pack. They literally wipe your face with a wipe to cleanse it and then they put the acid on a few times and then I do the rest at home so I could put up with it but I kept trying to ask questions because y'all know I've been doing the eyes my third one but the first two were the original so this one is called precision plus and I'm trying to ask questions like oh what's the difference between the original and then this one and she's like mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> and I don't know maybe she didn't hear me but I kept saying like is this good for acne Am I gonna, you know, peel a little bit more? Is the peeling gonna be the same as the original, lasting five days? She's like, yeah, it's the same. Like, just no context, like, no information. I've never been to someone that, I guess, isn't passionate enough to answer questions with detail. It was just very much so, get in, get out. Can you come at 11.30? Okay, good. Like, she didn't even tell me to finish filling out the paperwork. She said, just sign your name here. You don't have to worry about checking up. Huh, I don't know, I don't know three stars for the place but like I know the results are gonna be good because she said she put a few she did say that she put some boosters in it which makes it the plus part or whatever so child I don't know it's 11 46 so y'all know it does not take long like literally they want you in they want you out type of thing so um, I'm just gonna go home because I really shouldn't be exposed outside and so Pretty sure the aftercare is the same. 
um, five days downtime using their products for about two weeks they give you an SPF 50 and then like a moisturizing product on top of these acid pads that I have to do in four hours and then again before bed for day one actually there's extra stuff in here oh oh the cleanser just some extra things my face does smell like gasoline and it's you can see the pigment of the peel um, compared to like my normal color and then I just I don't know I was about to hey the lady comes around to go like take my card she's like whoa your face looks mmm who says mm. lady I'm here to get a chemical peel what do you think I'm gonna have crispy like not crispy but like glowy perfect skin after leaving the rip that threw me off like it's just like the people that's what I don't like like I don't know y'all I don't know. <laughs> mm -mm. Anyway. When you're awake before the sun. <laughs> Y'all can't see anything. Good morning, you guys. Sing a lot. I let the 808s bang in my drums knock. Try to tell me that I can't, then I know I can. Reach into my bag, hit him with the slow jam. I'm on the mic for the homies. I'ma keep it low key. Back since 96, it was an OG. Uh, made a little money, people acting like they know me. People acting like they know me. Back since 96. What's up, y'all? We got the sweats on today, you guys. We got the Jordans on today. Y'all see this? I think this was frosting yesterday. I was chopping up all of the vlog up until right now. Um, it's like 45 minutes in. And I noticed in that clip this was like frosting. Now it looks like it's bruised. So this is when it's like scary. It gets bad. Like is this going to peel off? Or is it just dark? And then it's not going to be there. Like... I don't know, but this is chemical peel day two. I'm gonna go put on some more sunscreen and then make a smoothie to go because I haven't really, I had breakfast earlier, but I need to eat some protein, okay? And it's 1.12 in the morning. Oh my God, it's not the morning, it's the afternoon. I took a nap, <laughs> 45 minute nap, um, and then got ready and I noticed this. What's going on? But I don't know, it's cause it's a stronger peel, so maybe, oh my God because it's stronger. I'm like, is it a burn? Mm -hmm. Also, the sunscreen that they give you is not for black people. I wish I could use my black girl sunscreen, but they only say to use their products for two weeks, because it gives me this light blue white cast, and it doesn't want to blend in, but I'm gonna be out of the house for a while driving and stuff and my skin itself actually being that I'm on day two sorry for my dog it doesn't look like I did anything to it so if you get this done you can definitely go and live your life day one and day two like regular all right y'all I got my antioxidants and my protein <laughs> I like to rap, but I sing a lot. I let the eight I got here so quick. 45 minutes, no traffic. Okay. So I have like 12 minutes to decide what I'm gonna do. Definitely gonna do long, obviously. It's like my favorite long coffin for gel X. I always get gel X nails. And I'm thinking for fall, like what could I do? Like design-wise, it's not gonna be tacky. You know what I'm saying? But also quick, because I don't really feel like sitting up here. I don't know for a long time like I just want to go back home go back in the bed get out of like the Sun because I'm really concerned about this and I still have to do my acid pads tonight 
and I'm low key worried. It looks like moly, 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 and <laughs> this is just not turning out how I wanted this glow up to go. But I'm trying to be optimistic. So hopefully, once I get my nails done, y'all will feel better. I don't know if I want to do one color for this hand, a different color for this hand, or if I can find enough shades, do like five different colors same design but I'm like my nail girl is gonna be mad with me if I ask her for that <laughs> so I don't know I've also wanted to do something like this but this is like an extra long length I mean I love this design I just don't know how it would look on like a long gel X length and I've been wanting to do that for a while like you guys know I'm loving French tip but like variations of it so this is just like a design on the French tip with like a very neutral nude base with white but I'm like is that really fall though you know what I'm saying or like my go-to um, which would be so quick in and out it would just be like a night a light nude which I feel like I always do I fall back on that um I don't know I was just scrolling on IG hashtags this morning I don't know uh, but I need to hurry up and figure it out or like a chocolate brown like it has to be the right shade that's the thing and my girl doesn't do at this place they don't do OPI so I don't know Anyone else get overwhelmed when it comes to like picking out the color? Cause that's me. But like chocolate brown, I think would be really pretty on my skin tone. Like that's definitely giving me fall vibes without doing too much. You know, I don't want to do the mats. I don't like matte nails on myself, but I don't know. Uh, I like to rap, but I sing a lot. I let the 808 bang in my drum. Okay, my nail girl did not have to pop off this freaking hard. Y'all, she ordered extra, extra long gel X just for me. Just for me. So I couldn't decide. Of course, I had to do two different colors for the fall vibes. I am just so thankful, y'all. I just love her so much. Um, she even got some angles for my IG you guys so I could have content for y'all she's so sweet so um I just I'm either zero or a hundred and y'all when I have claws on I just feel like a baddie you know we're not all the way together but we are getting there it's one step at a time so my bill y'all hundred and eleven dollars one 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 we love the synchronicities <laughs> that is the alignment today I just felt so good being in my nail girl's hands literally and I just asked for a chocolate brown girl why she pull out this and I was like that's it that looks like melted Hershey kisses so we are aligned shout out to her I'm gonna edit this IG reel of my nails I usually do like um an Instagram posts whenever i go and get like fun designs or whatever so really thankful for that what time is it my appointment was at 2 15 y'all it's four o'clock <laughs> it really takes patience but i don't mind especially if i know it's gonna turn out good and she told me one of my subscribers went and saw her so that's love that's love right there you guys so Oh man, I have water in my trunk. It's probably like, oh my god. Look at these birds. Fly like a bird. I wanna be free. Wait, that's not how the song goes. I'm like a bird. I wanna fly away. <laughs> I don't know where my home is. Oh god, I don't know where my soul is. People acting like they know me. Back since 96, it was an OG. Back since 96, it was an OG. Was an OG. OG. Damn. Well, it's getting dark so early now. Just showered, uh, covered my entire body with my coconut oil. 
Um, already, I'm noticing a big difference in the marks, and I'm pretty sure it's from this. Also, I haven't been working out, um, obviously, from my peel, but even before then, I didn't want to go to the gym because I think, like, working out heavy and sweating was also adding irritation and making those areas inflamed, so... I literally stopped doing everything because it was triggering um, these spots so I don't know we'll see in a few days how that's gonna react but I just washed my face in the shower and it's like feeling so dry uh, but I need to go in with these like wipes or whatever so this peel the precision plus has an extra like acid pad so I have to do this um, 30 minutes before I put the second one on and I did this wrong yesterday um when i got home like four hours later i put this one on and i was supposed to use this one it's because they're named like the same thing it says use the first precision plus post towelette and this is also called post peel towelette so i thought they were like literally the same thing so i kind of messed up hopefully it doesn't affect my results um I mean, they're still both going on my face. I just feel like this was like a booster or something, so it needed to be followed up with the other one, which is where I'm like, ooh, did I just play myself, you know? So, <sighs> hopefully this isn't like, I don't know, gonna leave a scar, but it smells like acetone. And I just use like gentle pressure. I'm like careful around my nose because that's like where the, there's like a mucus membrane there. And it can get very sensitive. Very easy. Easily, I'm sorry. My skin, like it literally looks regular. I feel like I would be peeling by now. Day two at night. I think I did the last peel I did. Anyway, stay safe, y'all. Hey, good morning, you guys. I don't have a watch on today. It is 9.30 a.m. It's a Thursday, and it's day three, morning three of my peel. Wash my face, and I'm starting to peel. Finally, I was like low-key kind of worried because typically night two, I'll start peeling around the mouth because that's when like my face moves the most um, and I didn't see that so I'm like oh my god if this is supposed to be a stronger peel why am I not peeling you know already so I didn't see anything right away when I woke up until I washed my face put on the moisturizer put on the SPF which I'll be reapplying throughout the day I'm not going anywhere I'm staying at home unless I have to take out the dogs um, and then I'm coming back inside because you don't want to be you know exposed to the sun all that stuff that you guys know but there's like some big old pieces of skin <laughs> hanging off my face and i can't pick it or anything and it's funny because y'all all morning we had service people coming by and my mom didn't tell me nobody told anybody they just showed up so i'm like that's unprofessional because what if nobody was here so I go to answer the door and I thought it was a scammer because you know my mom would typically tell me hey someone's gonna come by during this window so I'm like you're here to do what fix the light and then the dogs are going crazy so I have to put them on hold call my mom and make sure before I let these strangers all up in my house and then another guy came from a different company it was just like a lot of things and then more people are coming back like it's just a lot so <laughs> imagine my face and I'm like over here trying to walk people around sign paper I just look crazy like this is just not I ain't gonna be seen today so <laughs> this is just an update you guys can see like <laughs> this flap of skin I'm just gonna leave it there it's not itchy actually this peel hasn't been itchy at all typically uh, I would have uh, Typically, I would have some itching. Play nice. You were not thinking about that toy till he grabbed it, Leroy. You hear me? Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm excited for tomorrow because I know that day three and day four are like the most peeling typically. Um, but I'm not like red, you know, too red. I don't know you guys, but 
probably gonna end this video somewhere around here pray for me okay it's been a rough week things didn't go as planned um try not to stress about this allergy trying to be positive i'm healing i'm healing i'm healing did my journaling this morning and that made me feel so much better so i'm gonna go finish my coffee chop up the rest of this video and um see you guys next week hopefully glowing because <laughs> y'all know this takes about a week when did i get this done on tuesday so next tuesday or this coming tuesday um should be looking good so thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye tell me what you feel girl tell me if you tell me you love me oh tell me what you feel girl tell me it's real out of the way out of the way i've been making my mind up at the end of the day end of the day i want to have this tied up between me and you i used to think all of my feelings are dried up but everything changed with me